Okay, so next up we have a folding package design tool. This is really cool in, in essence, being able to print and really be creative with printing content. Uh, it's quite hard to explain, but it's really cool to check out. Uh, and luckily we have Amanda Gussie to show us fantastic fold. Thank you. Hey. All right, so let's say that I'm a packaging designer and I've been given this die line that folds up into a box and I want to create some artwork for it. So I'll show you a design I'm working on, kind of keeping with tonight's theme and making a little 90s time capsule box. But you can see that there's a lot of places in this design where I had to duplicate my graphics across multiple panels of the box and I had to figure out how to line everything up so that it all comes together when the box is folded. Um, but getting this right can be really tricky, and so I did a little test sprint to see if I was on the right track. But you can see that a lot of my graphics are really misaligned, and actually all of this is completely upside down. And then the top of my box here, it's supposed to say crazy cool time capsule, but when it comes together, it actually just says craps. Craps, <laughs> craps. <laughs> Crapsle. Crapsle. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> so these are the types of problems that packaging designers run into every day. So we're working on some new tools to not only avoid these types of mistakes, but also to allow you guys to get even more creative with your ideas. So our tool called Project Fantastic Fold takes your 2D die lines, figures out how they fold up, and provides you with a 3D preview. <laughs> so let's say we want to add a design to the side of this box here. So I can select these panels in 3D, and then I can use our smart unwrapping tool to lay out the panels that I selected in 2D in an orientation that matches how they're going to come together when the box is folded. So this way, I can just take my design, and I can just drag it across all three panels in a single step. And at the same time, I get this really nice 3D visualization, so I can be really sure that everything's going to line up exactly how I'm expecting, and it's all going to work out. So when I'm happy with this, I can switch out of Smart Unwrapping view and back into the fully flattened view. And you can see that the tool has automatically taken our design, uh, applied it to all three of the panels, applied clipping masks, figured out all of the rotations and offsets for us. So we can keep adding our graphics this way, and I'm just going to load up a design that I finished a little earlier. Let's see. We end up with something that looks like this. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And so once we're happy with this, we can export it as a 3D model, and we can bring it into Adobe Dimension to produce a photorealistic rendering. <laughs> so just starting from our 2D design, we've automatically created these beautiful 3D assets. And of course, we can get our box printed. And I have a little version right here for you. Beautiful. <laughs> so there's a whole class of packaging die lines that we can edit and simulate in similar ways. Um, but I'm going to push the envelope a little bit more with an uh, example with some really complicated folds. So let's see here. So this is a little origami pattern that I bet a lot of you have actually folded. Let's see what it is. So Paul, design <laughs> so Paul designed these really cool um, kind of pterodactyl skeletons to wrap around the outside of this crane. But obviously, figuring out how to mask this and apply it to the flat crease pattern is going to be really tricky. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to select all the panels that make up the body of the crane. And then I'm going to use smart unwrapping so I can just drag this design on top. 
And we, we can do the same thing with the wings. I can just select the wings, drag this on top. And then when I'm happy with that, um, I can switch out of Smart Unwrapping back to our full flattened view. And you can see that the tool has done all the hard work for us. Wow. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> printed one out. <laughs>